Today's video will cover backing up our Docker container to the cloud using Duplicati. Duplicati features the option to back up to Google Drive, Amazon's S3, and many other cloud storage options. Today's example, we'll be using Google Drive to back up our test sonar container. The install is easy and the backup and restore process is pretty simple, so let's get to it. First, let's take a look at our sonar container. We can see I have a few TV shows added to back up in this video. So back over to Portainer. And let's take a look at the volumes for Sonar. When Duplicati backs up a container, you really just need the config volumes for the container. Then you just recreate the container and restore the config volume. We can see I have everything mapped to this home Steve Docker folder. So that's what we're going to map in our Duplicati container so that we have access to the config volume. Over to Notepad, I have the Duplicati config. Note line seven has our volume map to home Steve Docker and inside the container, it's just Docker. Now let's put in our server and paste this Duplicati config. And back over to Portainer. We can refresh our container list. Now let's go to the publish port to access Duplicati. At first login, it will prompt you if your machine is in a multi-user environment. This is basically to set a password or not. I'm using a single account in this example. To add a backup, you simply click on add backup. Configure a new backup, click next. Give your backup a name. You have the option for encryption. If you choose to encrypt your files, this is where you set the passphrase. We're not encrypting this backup, so I'm choosing no encryption. And then select next. This is where you select our cloud storage. You can see in the drop down, there's a lot of cloud providers to choose from. We'll be using Google Drive. In our path, you want to store your backup files on Google Drive. Just name it Docker. And then click on auth ID. This will authenticate your Google credentials to allow access to your Google Drive. After authenticating, click on Test Connection. If the path you entered doesn't exist on your Google Drive, it will prompt you to create it. So go ahead and click on Yes. and we have a successful connection. Go ahead and click OK, and then Next. This is where we select what we're backing up. Like I mentioned before, we just need to back up the Sonar config volume. Under Computer, we can see our Map Docker folder, and inside is our Sonar config volume. Go ahead and select it, and select Next. Now we schedule the backups to run at whatever time you want. I'll leave it as is for this example. The next, remote volume size can stay the same. You can click on this link for more information on the remote volume size. Backup retention is how long and how many backups do you wanna keep. You can choose to delete backups that are older than X amount of days, or you can keep a specific number of backups. We'll choose two backups and click save. And this is just wanting to confirm we're continuing without encryption. And I'm gonna go ahead and run this backup now. Now that we have our backup, let's remove Sonar and Portainer. And we'll remove the folder inside Putty as well. And now we can reinstall Sonar. I have the config in Notepad. And we'll just paste that into our Putty session. Go back over to Portainer. Refresh our container list. And we can see we have Sonar back. Let's go ahead and check out the published ports. And we can see there are no TV shows inside Sonar. Now let's stop the container. And now we can restore the config volume. 
Back over to Duplicati and go to Restore. We're doing a direct restore from Backup Files. Our backup location is Google Drive once again. We have to specify the same folder we did during the backup process. And authenticate your Google account again. Go ahead and test the connection. And the connection worked, so okay, and next. We didn't encrypt the file, so we don't have a passphrase. Click connect. And now let's select our config volume to restore. We're restoring to the original location. We're gonna overwrite any existing files and then click restore. Once the restore process is complete, let's head back over to Portainer and let's restart Sonar. And now let's refresh Sonar here and we can see our TV shows are back. And that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.